Hey everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in today's scroll saw project video, we're going to be making a scroll saw blade storage caddy. It is designed by Steve Good. It is a great project. It is designed to hold up to 10 different types of scroll saw blades. Um, I'm sure if you're good with computer software, you could actually enlarge it to hold even more types of scroll saw blades. Um, this project is going to be made entirely out of quarter inch plywood, and I've already got all the pattern attached to the woods and I'm going to actually be able to stack cut some of it which is awesome. I already have somewhat of a system for scroll saw blade storage and that is this right here. Um, what I've got holds up to eight different types of scroll saw blades and these are actually just um, toothbrush holders that I picked up and they hold um, the scroll saw blades in these little clear tubes. I'm going to reuse these little clear tubes in what we're making today but I just kind of wanted something that would hold everything together. So let's head over to the drill press and get our holes drilled and get started. And we're going to begin by drilling the 10 holes for the blades to go in once the project's completed. And this is a 3 quarter inch Forstner bit. getting all 10 of the holes drilled and then I'll set that aside and bring this piece over and put a smaller drill bit in. This project is assembled with tabs and that's what I'm doing now, drilling the pilot holes for the tabs to go through once I cut these out. And then we're going to start scrolling. Again, I got to stack cut parts of this which was good so I know everything would be a perfect match. I'm using number five reverse tooth shark tooth scroll saw blades. They cut extremely smooth on a lot of the material I use. Again, this is a Steve Good pattern. And you can get this pattern as a free download over at his website at scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com in the pattern catalog. Here we are finishing up this piece. Just moving right along with it, just taking my time. Not, not a very complicated scroll saw project. It's mostly outside cutting and it's just basically following straight lines and right angle turns. This is the um, bottom piece of it I'm cutting out here. And this is the little divider that acts as like a support down the middle. Now this project did have a handle on it, but I did not add the handle on it. But you guys can if you would like to if you want to make this project. All the pieces are now cut and removing it from the waste area. And then we'll move over to sanding. And quite honestly, with this being a shop project, you really don't even have to sand it. This I just wanted to to make it nice and smooth and just sanded it real good with the palm sander. Then I brought all the pieces back over to the workbench and I'm using Gorilla wood glue and I've got my glue in a little condiment bottle there um, so that fine tube will let out a fine amount of glue and this project actually does not need much glue just a couple dabs on the pieces and it'll hold together real well here I'm getting the whole thing assembled and then I'm going to use some rubber bands to kind of hold everything together while the glue dries and I let the glue dry about 30 minutes let it set up good and then I came back and took the rubber bands off and took my scroll saw blades out of the toothbrush holders and put them in their new caddy and the project was completed. And 
And here we have the completed scroll saw blade caddy. I think it turned out real good. Again, it has enough um, slots for 10 of these um, tubes. I only have um, 8 of them right now. I can get more. They're not expensive. But in the last two slots, I've got a pencil and my X-Acto knife. It's a good look at it. I think it turned out real good. I'm going to enjoy having this sitting right beside the scroll saw. Um, it's got my thick cutting blades, my thin cutting blades, and my favorite sharp tooth scroll saw blades. All stored right here nice and organized. And with this being a shop project, I don't think I'll apply any kind of finish for this. It's going to get dusty no matter where I put it out here in the workshop. But I think it turned out real good and I think it's a great... Um, project to replace these little toothbrush holders I was using. They were good for when I used them, but I just wanted something that would hold everything in one spot. Get another look at it. I think it turned out real good. That about wraps up this video. Remember guys, if I can make it, you can make it. I'll have one of my older videos floating up in this corner and my subscribe button floating up in this corner. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.